What if this world is no longer the way we intended it to be? In the end, it was easy for them to take what they wanted from us. Endless war raged. Currency was manipulated until it meant nothing, and the corporate media droned us into submission. We fell into a nightmare, but for many, it was easier to stay asleep than wake up and face the reality. So we gave them a little of our freedom. Evil, they said, encroached on us from all sides. Though we now know that evil isn't always the bogeyman in the closet at the end of your bed. Sometimes it's hidden behind the charade of smiles and handshakes. But ignorant, we gave them a little more freedom. There were those who realized and tried to warn us. Though they were smeared, then forced to drink a vial of hemlock for trying to corrupt the youth in the square. With no one to lead us, we gave them the last of our freedom. After 100 regimes, we had sleepwalked into a society where the illusion of freedom no longer needed to be maintained. The scenery was taken down, the curtains pulled back, and the chairs and tables moved out of the way. Then we saw the back of the theater, the brick wall of oppression. Some tried in vain to fight, but it was too late. There was nothing left to give. Now all that remained was the new republic, the work they had designed from the beginning. The world was ordered anew, where there would be all obedience, oppression, and consent. That was until now. Come in. Remember Alessio? Hello, Ariel. What are these? Cases on how we're going to fight this executive order. Thompson v. Smith. Arizona versus Chansey. Bride versus McCluskey. We're not fighting anything. Why? Because it's pointless. So you're willing to give the president complete and unregulated power? If it means a few more quiet years at the back of the chamber. What happened to you? Nothing. Something did. You have just sat there with your head in your hands these past few sessions. Do you even know what they're voting through? Of course I do. Then why don't you speak up? Tell the truth. Truth is treason in the empire of lies. Someone once told me this old thing stood for something. It still does, but it's not the same. When I was small, my mother used to hum this tune to me. And then one day when I asked her what it was, she told me never to repeat it. Do you know what it was? I can guess. Do you remember how it goes? Singing about liberty isn't going to do anyone any good. I don't know why you bother sneaking off to see that piece of paper on top of the hill if you're going to treat it like one. Ariel, you're starting to get out of line. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they don't want to hear. Day, member Alesso. Leave us. Member Alesso? President Nebuchadnezzar. How are you? Never better. I'm sorry for the passing of your wife. Thank you. A man of your caliber should never have gone into this business. Principles? They're not a virtue in this world anymore. But I guess you're just the last in a long line. There'll always be a few of us. Mm, exactly five, I count. 
Some are calling you the Liberty Caucus. I prefer the thorn in my paw. Such high praise, Mr. President. Today is an historic day for the Republic, member. Are you gonna be a part of it? History is written by the victors, Mr. President. And I have no intention of losing. I'll make it easy for you. I know that the fools at the back follow your lead. So if you stand against this bill, it might look embarrassing for me. I would hate to embarrass you, Mr. President. Threatening you, it does nothing. So I've decided on a more gentle approach. Guarantees for the release of the seven suspected terrorists you've been lobbying for, and an assurance of additional funding for your quadrant for the next quarter. You can return and retire a hero. All you need to do is deliver the votes I need for the bill to pass unanimously. I can't speak for the others. Yes, you can. See, if in the house of cards you take out the right one from the bottom, the whole structure comes tumbling down. You are that one card member. Once this rebellion is crushed, all the other cards will fall back in the pack. And I can uh, shuffle them and deal a new hand. This is bribery, Mr. President. Oh, Daniel, this is politics. Will that be all, Mr. President? Yeah, if I keep you any longer, you might miss the vote. Jones! What's this, Belshazzar? Just a little way to try to get you to stand still for five seconds. Oh, you really don't like talking to the press much, do you? Vultures don't circle around something unless it's dead. Listen, uh, don't toy with me. You know I'm a fan of Daniel, and I want first to sit down with him. Sit down? After his announcement. Surely he told his chief of staff. What announcement? He's uh, going to try to call for an election. You know, you're never going to get a majority. We don't need a majority. We need a vocal, irate minority. Oh, and next time you want me to do something for you? Bring Danish. <laughs> <laughs> 